How's it going everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech Extra, which is again my second channel where I just do casual unboxings and pretty much anything else I really want to that's not going to be on the main channel. So today we have something a bit different. So we're going to unbox a laptop, but that's not really released yet. Um, it was showcased at Combinix 2019 and it's MSI's workstation. However, I've had this for a while now, and the thing is I couldn't have done a review because NVIDIA hasn't released any drivers yet. Well, maybe now, I don't I don't know, we'll see. So we're gonna box the new workstation, which is the MSI WE75. And this thing also is rocking new RTX 3000 graphics. I believe it's 3000. Still, it's so new that I don't even have all of the specs. There's pretty much no information further on this laptop, which is kind of a bit strange. So with that, let's just open it up, see how it looks inside. So again, there's no information on the box. It's a sales sample. I don't know if you guys can see that. Sales sample. That's all I had to really go for. So, firstly, opening it up. I have opened it up before, but still, there's nothing really inside that indicates a lot of information about it. So, firstly, we do have the laptop, which I'm just gonna put there. Let's get this thing out. Then we have our power supply. I don't even know how many watts this is. So this is a, what's it? Looks like a 180 watt, I believe. Looks like it, yeah. So it's not too big, luckily. Still carry it around quite easily. And for the amount of like horsepower this thing has, it's definitely not bad. Inside here, just power cable. Cool, so that is that. We might actually need this to power the system up. I'm not sure about battery, but we'll see. So then, let's get this thing out. So again, just a casual unboxing. I might do some benchmarks, but I I'm still not, again, sure if there's any drivers for from NVIDIA side. So there it is. So it's a 17.3 inch display. I believe it's only 1080p on this, but it does look very nice. So again, workstation, so you know it's gonna be really high end. It's not gonna be for gaming or anything like that. If you want to do like 3D rendering, if you want to do ray tracing stuff now, which again, it does have the new RTX 3000, it's either between the 3000 to the 5000. I'm not sure, we shall see. Hopefully there's drivers. But anyway, this is how it looks. 17.3 inch screen. It does have, doesn't have a mechanical keyboard, but it looks nice. It has this cool shape to it on the keyboard. This diamond-like shape, a polygon shape. Underneath, also get this quite cool pattern down here. And then no other information. Dual fans. Cooling seems to be reasonable, but yeah, so that is it. Let's quickly open it up, see if we can turn it on, if there's enough power still left. No, there's no power, so let's please plug it in and see. All right, so that's great. We're gonna get US, I believe it's US standard plug, which isn't gonna work, so I'm gonna need an adapter. Nice. Okay, so cool, plug it in, let's turn it on and see if it works. It should work, yes, there it goes. Right, so checking on the price side of, all right, so it doesn't really look like there's drivers. So on Nvidia's main website, it just says quarter RTX like 4,000 to 8,000, there's no 3,000, which I believe this one is. And if I go to the price side, usually where we get our pre-release drivers, there's pretty much nothing there. So yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. Although the thing was showcased at uh, 
Computex 2019, which is like a week ago. Still nothing. So, yeah, I don't really know what to do about that. All right, so unfortunately, again, there's no NVIDIA drivers. I can't do anything with the GPU. It's there, but it's not there. <laughs> So again, unfortunately, no GPU related benchmarks, but I still have the CPU and the rest. So I'm gonna quickly run a few of those benchmarks and see how it performs. But firstly, some of the specs that I do know of the WE75. So currently it is rocking a Xeon E2276M, which is a six core 12 thread CPU running at 2.8 gigahertz. No, I do know that. It does come with 16 gigs of 2666 megahertz of memory. It can go up to a max of 64 gigs. It does come with a 250 gig M.2 uh, NVMe SSD and a terabyte normal hard drive, and then a pretty decent screen and so on. And of course, the RTX 3000 series GPU. Pretty much all that I know of because again, there's not any information out on this thing as of yet. So that's all I have for you guys. But now let's jump into some of those benchmarks and see how it performs. I'm actually quite interested to see how it performs against the new Titan that I also saw at Combidex 2019 and I was able to run a little benchmark there as well. So I'm a bit curious how it's going to pair against the new Titan, which did have a 8 core 16 thread 9900K, also overclocked to 5 gigahertz. So I don't believe it's going to be close really, because again, 6 cores, 12 threads, and also 2.8, half the clock speed. But I'm curious to see how it's going to compare. So Cinebench R15, how is it going to stack up? Let's just get Task Manager out as well. So far it doesn't look too bad, but it's going up to 3.7 gigahertz. So 1140, not as great, but again, half the clock speed, two less cores and four less threads. Now, so 1140, we're gonna run a R20 benchmark as well, just because the more the merrier. I don't have a bunch of benchmarks I can really run. All right, so for Cinebench R20, we scored a max of uh, 2,398. So it doesn't look the greatest, being that a Ryzen 7 1700X scored 3,455. So yeah, it's not the greatest on this one, on Cinebench though, but we can see how it runs on some other benchmarks. So we're gonna also run a, a real bench, we're gonna run a geek bench and also some blender because that's pretty much all I really know about workstation applications. All right, so in real bench, we got pretty decent scores, still nothing amazing, but pretty decent nonetheless. Now let's quickly run blender. So we're gonna run a the classroom benchmark and then see how that I believe this is where it should do a better but we shall see so let's we fire that up so for the blender classroom benchmark it took around 24 minutes and 8 seconds so take that for what you will if you use blender then there you go, you can kind of compare it to the others. I'll, I'll see if I can find some other benchmarks that I also have that I can just compare against this one. But 28 minutes, oh, 24 minutes and eight seconds. So that's pretty much it for my unboxing video of MSI's new WE75 workstation laptop. Now again, unfortunately I didn't have drivers so I couldn't do any GPU benchmarks, which Nvidia, why? But all right, so uh, we can't do anything about that unfortunately. But yeah, we did do some of the other benchmarks. You, if you want to get something like this, if you want to get this one, you do have so those benchmarks that you can go for and see how it will perform CPU wise. Now, again, it's not out yet, so you can't really go for this one, but once it's out, then maybe. There's not really a lot of workstation laptop reviews on YouTube, so maybe this could just help you out a tiny bit. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Thanks for the video, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, and comment like always. Uh, if you have 
Anything else you want me to unbox or whatever, let me know down in the comments below. Also, a big thanks to MSI for sending this one over, even though we didn't run into a small problem, but luckily they're sending out a, a new one, a new laptop. So we're gonna take a look at that. We'll possibly also do an unboxing and then a full review, because that one we actually have drivers for, full review on the main channel. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I will check all of you next time. Cheers guys.